My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train Hurzel's Workshop. We're going to be continuing with our attempts to get crowns for all of our characters. Uh, with a Covenant 25 Umbra lead and a Melting Remnant follow, we've got this... That's a, uh, that's a Scourge spell, so we might actually have to go energy in the first fight. We've got two Entombed Explosives, a Cave-In, two Makings of Morsel, and Seraph the Patient is our final boss. Deal 5 damage to enemy units whenever a burnout unit dies. We've got Entombed Explosives and the ability to reform them with the Primitive Molds. That is Sweep as well as uh, some Frontline damage. Let's take the Exploding Candle here. What do we got in the next area? Remnant Banner next to the Merchant of Steel. We probably end up going for this Umbra Banner down here. So you go Merchant of Steel, Forgotten Boons in the opening. Take an Umbra in the Architect form. See if we can set up a uh, a better gorge floor. Start battle, enemy units appear on each floor. Okay, as long as we get <clears throat> a unit down on the turn one and then a reform on turn two, we are easily fine here. Okay, we can get a unit down on turn one. I can guarantee you that much. We've also got the Shiny Stewards mod currently active. However, it is no longer the Halloween event, making everyone got pumpkin heads, so we can actually see the Shiny Stewards. Um, sure, let's get double energy, I guess. We've drawn 10 cards in a 22 card deck. Five of the cards in the deck are primitive mold. None of the ones we've drawn, however, are primitive molds. <sighs> Not great. Not great news so far. Hey, we finally got things from the primitive mold. This was the plan. There you go. I just get a decent amount of damage out there. And we'll get the kill. Great. Unfortunately, we didn't get the extra money. I really would have liked. <laughs> Space Prism versus Packed Morsels. As much as I want the Space Prism, I feel like Packed Morsels are going to be more important with the Penumbra already in the deck and the fact that I'm not getting a unit here. Uh, sure. I think draft effectively just is a one capacity spell that deals a bunch of damage to a frontliner. <laughs> this is just a garbage shop. Oh my god. You get two cost reductions there, and we literally didn't. Okay, never mind. Uh, Permafrost could have gone on any card, but we didn't have the ability to actually put the buffs on most of our cards most of the buffs were for things we didn't have yeah this is what i'm talking about set up on the top floor there we go we actually get a burnout unit dying here i had to finally see it We burn out someone to go on the bottom line.
And heck, we'll even get a little bit more on the top line. Not like it'll be necessary, but happy to have it. Space Prism. Okay, this one's feeling a lot more takeable. Arrows of Production's there as well, though. I really wish I could have taken that Perils of Production instead. Molded. No, I don't think we go for the molded. That's a big sludge, though. I like big sludge. Do I like it more than Allied Construct here? Hellvent Remnant Banner. Is there anything I would want to Hellvent at this point? Making of Morsel is real good with that Alloyed Construct, though. I got two Making of Morsels in the base deck. I could even go over there and Hellvent another Making of Morsel. Or even a Packed Morsels if I just want to get the Alloyed Construct off the ground really quick. Big Sludge has so much more scaling potential, but the Penumbra in the back line ultimately becomes 100 damage later anyway. This also gives me the ability to avoid this Herzl Sword if I'd prefer. And I do. Yeah. Take money there. We'll look at the Concealed Caverns first, just in case. Health. Health. Steward Unit Cards. Game plus five, plus five. They also get Damage Shield 2 and Multi-Strike 1. They're, I mean, they're now worthy of reforming, so I no longer really want to remove them from the deck at all. Take a second pack of Morsels while I can get it. I've got to remember, though, the second boss is the Scourge Fell. So I've got to make sure that I have enough energy in the deck to actually still play those out. I think I will. Oh, man. Great pickups there. Come on, reform. Reform for us. It's okay. It looks like, yeah, we got that entire floor already anyway. Obviously, we got to go for the making of Morsel for the top floor, benefiting from it two times because you have the multi-strike. That's without possibly getting a third multi-strike or even quick. Finally got a burnout unit to actually let die on that bottom floor. Ah, uh, that one should have gone in the front line. I would have been able to protect against four damage and then just eat it afterwards anyway. Morsel Miner for the top. And heck, let's go with another Shade Splitter. Because I can. Down to 398. I think we're already comfy on the top floor, so I'm not really going to bother with the direct count. You're missing a decent amount of HP. No, we should be fine. At least we now get the upgrade, taking our damage to... Hmm. So that top floor is going to be Penumbra, Alloyed Construct... What, what I'm trying to figure out is, is this ridiculous? Because every turn, it could just be plus 15, plus 15 to our front line with the making of morsels that we have in the deck. So I think I have to take it as much as I want the trample there. And I do want the trample quite desperately. Um, I'd, I'd love to be able to play a Shadow Eater in this deck. Can I? I think maybe I have to. Our AoE from other sources, the the 
exploding candle. It just it it hasn't worked. <laughs> it's 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 failed us awfully. We take the extra draw there rather than the extra energy, knowing that we have fail coming up. Twenty five on the shadow edge isn't that bad. Quick's real good here though. Then we give burnout to one of the endless tombs, so it becomes slightly more useful for its previous use. Then just more HP on Shadow Eater. Just don't want it to die until it starts doing stuff. Some plus three. All right. Got one more fight after this with the Merchant Trinkets, Hursle's Horde, and Forgotten Boons. Okay, okay. I want to go into that with as much money as possible. Especially with the quick on the uh, construct. Yeah, I'm very, very confident we can do this. At least we finally got one of the collectors. It's nice to finally have one. So we can add one more thing to that floor before we shroud of morsel. Oh, sorry, shroud mitosis. more damage on the top floor as well just in case and then might as well get some on the bottom come on yay that entombed explosive actually it's not going to blow up in time in order to kill the clip defender in the front line okay. huh it's a very familiar looking uh train student right there It's because, like, that was in the game the entire time through the Halloween event. How unfortunate it was that the Halloween event gave pumpkin heads to all of the shiny stewards and covered up the, uh, the portraits. Terribly nice to be included as one, naturally. Extremely appreciative. Let's drop that. And then a shroud mitosis. Yeah, unfortunately that did all go on to the... <laughs> to the unit that just immediately died thereafter. Keep forgetting about the order in which those occur. Got a perfect amount of health moving forward, so we're we're in a good position. Certainly in a good position right now. Grovel, cannibalize, emberforge. I don't think we need more morsels, to be entirely honest. I think we just need to cut other cards that aren't morsels from the deck. Mortal Entrapment wouldn't be that bad for the Seraph the Patient fight. I like it. Let's try and take that and then double stack, cost reduce it, some such. We always knew that the merchant trinkets is where we had to go. Gorge ability for an additional time is not necessary, I don't think. We feed so much into the alloyed construct that it's actually not. Uh, I mean, it's good for the shadow eater of the absolute least, though. Okay, it's good for the shadow eater. I guess we take shadow box there, not. Super enthused about it though. Well, uh, it's really hoping we would see one that we could actually afford there. Normal centimeter unit sent to its spikes four. It's completely fine as well. Do I really want to put a shadow eater and then a making morsel on the bottom line by themselves here? 
Could just put the draft on the bottom line. Get the kill that way. Oh, actually, that's good. If I bring back the draft, it has burnout too. Right. Okay, cool. I put it in the front line. It kills that, and then it dies and kills the 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 the, the silent marksman next turn as well. I want extra damage, I think, on that top floor. Actually, maybe what I need right now is just a bunch of eats on this middle. Or not, because they all die to the spikes, and I should have just put down an end. <sighs> okay, we made a mistake. It's a big one. It's going to cost us a pretty significant amount of HP. You can get one on this floor and then two still on the top floor because they're dazed. Shadowweed is not really working out how I'd hoped, but uh, it's fine. It'll be fine, I think. Look, as long as we get the backliners down, I guess we're fine. And get the backliners down, we did. Oh my god! Shadow Box! You're actually gonna come in clutch! You did something, Shadow Box! It's the first time I've actually been. Or rather, the first time I've actually utilized Shadow Box. Oh my god. Merchant of Magic is right there. We need the feast and then go to the Merchant of Magic and then start, like, make feast and the Shroud Mitosis holdover somehow. Or just keep removing cards from the deck until we just play those exclusively. We have so much that we need to cut from this deck at this point. And the, decks get, the deck gets so much better every single time I cut something now. So that brings the question up then. The other side has the cuts. Do I go there? No, because holdover still matters more than everything else. Over frost. Yeah. Decrease the cost of the mortal entrapment. Reroll. Double stack. Okay, that'll go on mortal entrapment. We now have a plan for that. Let's get Shroud Mitosis to cost less. Plus 10 doesn't really need to go on anything. And come on. Cabins for an Umbra card. Do we want the prism? No. Stygian? No. Ah, couldn't just give me more money. Just trying to plunder here. Here's hoping we don't get an awful early draw. I don't want both of my banner units. Okay, that's just one banner unit. Good.
We'll immediately eat that, getting the kill on the bottom line, and then setting up for, I mean, soon explosive on the next line, I guess. Don't get to play out the ultimate penance, but I'm extremely okay with that there. I've still got to make sure that the bottom floor actually gets decent access to stuff. Yeah, HP's enough for the bottom floor, I think, by itself. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I love the idea of just all the packed morsels going on the bottom floor. But they are needed elsewhere. I, I wouldn't turn down, like, a another Grobble at this point, I think. I know I turned one down earlier. I wouldn't turn it down now. Was I not thinking about the Shadow Reader at the time? Did I not have the Shadow Reader at the time? I can't remember. Who can say? It's frankly impossible to know. Make sure they get the draft kills on the bottom line, just in case. Really should have gone on the back line there for the extra damage. Oops. It's the absolute least here. I've got the draft back. And it... Let's take that middle line. I mean, I literally just need more protection for the allied construct at this point, right? I'm glad that we didn't have to take energy in order to be viable here because I really didn't want it. And then Mortal Entrapment gets me six turns of days there and we get the kill. We were going to lose without that as well. Wretch. Return eaten units to your hand. There's also remove all burnout and debuff effects from unit, which might be able to remove things like the melee weakness that the Seraph the Patient would be adding. I imagine it would, rather. Blazing Bolts also seems like a good way to try and kill a frontliner. Take the extra draw with all these zero cost generations of uh, extra morsels. Take the double removal on the left hand side. Sure. of Steel has a large stone there. I mean, do I want a large stone? That like construct doesn't feel awful with a large stone. Totally against the idea. These shiny stewards more and more of the time are just in between the other things that I need. So what what else would be what I'd look for here? Multi-strike, right? I owe myself the dream. Dream accomplished. No. It's extra energy cost requirement that we really, really don't want to have to take on with this. Uh, next area is double removal, double... He okay, so the hell vent is on the same side. Okay. We may end up hell venting the... The... The melting... The... The molten... Melting. 
Mod model entrapment. There we go. There was an M and an O in it. That's all I knew. Non-boss enemy units deal eight additional damage. That does mean that the Pyre Wings is going to have eight additional damage on its sweep, but that, like, no, uh, no morsel is standing up to it anyway. So we're just going to have to hope that we kill them in the front line. Okay. Numbra. That construct there too, and then start eating morsels so that when we wretch, we get something better. <laughs> Can't do anything here. Can't get the collector. I mean, I can deal some damage on the bottom line. Definitely should. Unfortunately, that wretch on the top line is now a lot worse. Beast. It's about to get a lot, a lot worse. Keeping all these other minions into it. Unfortunately, I kind of have to. Mm. So we got two Ember Drain on that top floor. But thankfully, we can wretch. Getting back a... Minor, um, I don't like that on the bottom floor either. At least we managed to get one of them down there. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't set up on the top floor because the pine wings again. God, gosh dang it. Also can't set up on the bottom floor because of the pie wings. Gosh, gosh, gosh dang it. Oh, stop. Stop. Kill all of my units. Then my... They stopped. <laughs> shadow box. I forgot about the shadow box. The shadow box has actually been doing, like, some, some work. My hesitance to admit it is exclusively based off the fact that shadow box have been, have been mean to me before. Quickly throw you there. From the mold for nothing. Then wretch on the top floor for as many units as I can get. Then eat them all and pop down some more. Beautiful. What do we got? Five sources of damage, life steal in there. Another model entrapment just for good measure. And you know what? We'll even wretch at the very end, start getting some more morsel miners out there. Great. <sighs> Feast. Um. God, I really want Feast in the deck as well. I love the idea of it, but I can't take it. Feast is good on the turns that I'll never have. Let's quickly look at the Merchant of Trinkets. No, 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 none of those are relevant. Extinguishability trigger an additional time. That's not relevant, is it? Not really, no. Teeth of gold, slightly relevant. Votive key could save me from a unit dying if I desperately, desperately need it to, but I honestly think we are better served by just cleaning up the deck as much as we can. God, there's another multi-strike there as well. <laughs> okay. Cut out two primitive molds, go to a shop, and then cut out another one. Another one. One more one. 
Another, another one. And then finally with the dupe here, it, as much as I want like Shroud Mitosis or some such, it really feels like it needs to be the Mortal Entrapment so that the boss is not attacking. Sleeve. All right, Seraph. All right, so in this fight, I have so many things to worry about. Just infinitely many things. In particular, we got the, the mortal entrapments in this deck so that we can take care of the backliner, but I need to be able to find the time to play them. Also, this is not what we wanted for the opening hand. The Shadow Eater is in the same hand as the Allied Construct. But why did you have to both be here though? At least we get two morsels there on that first turn. That's actually really good. It means the wretch is now going to be bringing us back a significant amount of uh, morsels. not a great upper floor for us. Space Prism plus Wretch to get back as much as we can. Minor. Minor. I mean, like, Shroud Mitos is already all of the miners. I really wish I could throw the Mortal Entrapment through the backline already. Okay, at least we get the Shiny Seward to kill those two on that floor as well. Or I'm just going to play two units on the bottom floor as well. Just get us closer to the shadow box. This is the turn I've got to start doing that, right? Is this the turn I've got to start hitting that backliner? Entrapments. I feel it is. Because otherwise it comes back up stairs next floor and then I just have an awful time. That said, playing one morsel next turn is going to trigger the shadow box, so maybe that's already good enough. Okay. This is great because I have three melee weakness on me. I need something to actually... Oh, no, it's not going to be able to hit me. I need something to be able to hit me so I can remove that melee weakness. Hmm. Oh, God. I threw the extra one on the top floor there. It's enough to kill all of them. We've got two waves remaining here. We've got another mortal entrapment in the deck. Yeah. We need to just keep throwing out mortal entrapments here. Even if I had the Shroud Mitosis and the feed, uh, Feast in hand, still got to go for the actual best play. Let's just get on down there for the purge. Okay. This one's a straightforward one. We actually just get to throw units down. Eighty-four. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the top floor. Start with that. 
Then I'm going to shade split. That's not what I wanted. Shade split again. Still not what I wanted. I'm going to double rubble morsel. Throw those out on the bottom line. Wretch. I was looking for a found lifesteal. Because I attack quick, so I'll heal back up before the enemies do anything here. Perfect. Twenty-four turns of stun. Looks like it'll be just enough to get us over the line here. Forty-nine damage taken, but we are done. We're done with this clan combination. It's over. The losing streak can end. Let's make it official as we get here to the victory screen, and I am going to up. Oh! There we see. Perfect. We've just got two more wins with Melting Remnant as the lead, and we will have everything, save these two clanless colorless cards, already done in this game. Whew. Then we can move back onto the challenges that were introduced uh, two major updates ago. <laughs> Oops. We'll be able to get into those in the future. We've always had something to do in the interim. For the moment, though, let's pull up the custom challenge. And as I am doing so, I'll say that my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game is Beyond Strength. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content of the game past, present, and future. If you do like the videos, please click like. It does, give, uh, it does help me get my content out to new people and uh, grow the channel. It makes me do a smile. I was kind of hoping that uh, the amount of time it took me to do that would uh, already pull this up. It did not, but it is now mm, portion, sorry, portion, major, or leans. That again will be left at the top of the description down below. Portion, major, or leans for the moment. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and we'll see you next time.